So now let's edit our hair. So in order to edit the hair, let me just create a hair first. I'm going to uh, create a hair simulation just like this. So now I'm just going to play this out and the dynamic will uh, come into the play over here. So what I can do over here is edit the hair. So in order to edit the hair, so I'm going to go over here uh, onto the simulation and then I'm going to go over here onto hair tools. And here you can see that there's move, scale, rotate and everything else. So let me go to the brush right here and you can see that I can now work around with the brush. So I can actually move these hairs around as you can see and brush it according to the way I want. And the hair will simulate accordingly as you can see right here. So if I were to press Control R, yeah, you'll be able to see that it brushes out the hair just like that. If I want to disable the dynamics, I can go over here onto the hair and then I'm going to go into uh, my hair settings right here. So let me just go over here onto uh, the hair right here on under dynamics and I'm just going to disable the dynamics right here. So let me just uh, disable the dynamics so you, you can work around with the hair just like that. So you can see that you can brush out the hair as you want just like that and then it'll generate out the hair just like that as you can see right here. So now there are some other tools as well. So I'm going to go over here on to the simulate and over here on hair tools. There's move the hair so you can move everything as you can see right here. So you can move simple hair just like that. So on the top just like that. You can go over here on under simulate and over here there's scale so you can scale out the hair so you can really uh, increase the length of the hair as you can see. Just drag it left and right and increases the hair or you can also use this method right here so you can use this percentage right over here so you can also go over here and then you can go around with rotate so you can rotate out the hair as you can see so it rotates out along the tips as you can see and there's other tools like this brush comb and so forth so you can brush around the hair to give it different styles as you can see right here just like you'd style a regular hair just like that so let me just style according to what i want just like that from the side so it's just like combing up the hair so you have a hairstyle according to what you want so you press ctrl r and it'll render out accordingly just like that as you can see so it's rendering out according to how you brushed it so there's also other uh, tools over here so there's hair edit there's like brushing tools right here and there's um, clumping and curling tools as well so you can curl everything out so you can curl everything out as you can see and there's also other things right over here so there's curl there's cut you can cut out the hair over here from the side so let's say I want to cut out just click and drag it and those hair parts as you can see is being cut out over here so you can go over here onto the side cut out these hairs over here and you can see that small strands of hair actually gets cut out over here so you can also go over here and then there's uh, on the hair tools there's push so you can push it out push some hairs forward and backward right over there and there's over here straighten so you can straighten out the hair so you can really straighten it out or get it back onto the shape you want so you can straighten it out or get it back to this position as you can see there's also other tools over here so you can add a mirror and everything else so you can add in more hairs over here uh, just like that so you can add in more hairs over here just click and drag it and there you go that's how you add in here press ctrl r and that's how the hair seems like so there's a really good way to actually control everything as you can see right here and you can go back to the hair on the on the hair so you can enable a dynamic rigid uh, hair as well so you can enable the dynamics and make it rigid so that even when you play it it actually does not go out but it actually bounces around like a real hair as you can see because after all that styling you may not want to uh, ruin that out so that is how you can work around with the hair editing editing tools like brush straighten and cut inside of cinema 4d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe